house is banging. It's all the maintenance. Don't need no champagne. Popping entertainment. I got the spirit. Can't shake it off me. I wanna kick it in the snow like I'm frosty. So every now and then when I get paid, I gotta spoil my Christmas with an upgrade. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, we're fancy like Applebee's for the big night. Got that Bourbon Street steak with the gingerbread shake, slice of fruit cake on the side too. Sliced ham, canned yams, yo, I got you. Bougie like eggnog in the styrofoam. Chris Kringle in the big sled all the way home. Matching holiday pajamas and a sweater with the lights. That's how we do, how we do Christmas lights. Fancy like Applebee's for the big night. It's an after show hang, whole crowd with the gang. Bring your grandma and your pops too. Last call, one check, yo, we got you. Bougie like eggnog in the styrofoam. Sing, singing with the family all the way home. Matching holiday pajamas and a sweater with the lights. That's how we do, how we do a Christmas like Christmas parties. Drink a double tall or two. Awful secret Santa gets back to. Fancy like Applebee's for the big night. Got that Bourbon Street steak with the gingerbread shake, slice of fruit cake on the side too. Sliced ham, canned yams, yo I got you. Bougie like eggnog in the styrofoam. Chris Kringle in the big sled all the way home. Matching holiday pajamas and a sweater with the lights. That's how we do, how we do Christmas like. From mom, Nana, Grandma, and Bentley's mommy. <laughs> You'll get your cottage cheese in a sec. This year, I've made homemade gifts for everybody because I believe that all material things that are given should be from the heart. And I think that when people buy things with money and go to big box stores, it's just not as meaningful. Don't even get me started on capitalism. I just want to support our local businesses if I buy anything at all. So this year I've been making apple pies for all my neighbors, just with the warmth of my heart and from my oven. And I just, I love making them feel all warm, just like their mom baked them a pie. I've also been doing a lot of knitting and crocheting. Um, I decided to just start crocheting a couple of years ago for this Christmas and to make everybody very lovely gifts. Good thing it's only September because I, now I need to focus on Hawk and Bentley and Leela and Arthur. I think I'm gonna crochet them little sweaters just from the love in my heart. As many of you know, I did get rid of my car this year, which is a new change for me. So the other day I needed to get some groceries from Whole Foods. So I walked all the way to Aspen. And while I was walking, I listened to um, Richard Rohr and Tara Brock actually had a special together, two of my favorite people. And they were talking about material goods and just how it can't bring us really true joy. They talked about gift giving and how it needs to come from within. We need to really t hone in to that gold within us when we are making our gifts. So that's what I'm doing in each stitch that I sew and crochet and knit. I just am putting so much of my love and heartfelt um, kindness into all these gifts. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for Christmas this year. And 
I also, the only money that I did have to spend was I had to mail it to everybody, which cost about $200 to mail it from Glenwood Springs by the post office. But that is okay because your cookies are not going to be stale when they arrive to you and they're going to be so fresh and lovely and baked with love. Next year, I already have something in mind and I'm working on the pattern for it. I'm planning on knitting together 12 pairs of gloves. They're actually going to be mittens and they're all going to be connected so that every single member in our family can put them on and we are connected by the yarn. And if we ever get to Together, if people respond to the email that I sent, even you, Donald, we can put on these gloves and we will forever be connected. So I'm, I'm already starting to work on the pattern for that. It's very hard to find 12 connected pairs of mittens, but that is my plan for next year, so don't tell anyone in the family. Merry Christmas. Bentley and I love you. Whoa, hey, what's going on? What? What is this, family gift exchange? Uh, I got mine right out here in the truck. One minute. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, I'm back. I'm back with the, just had to get my, my gifts out of the truck there. Hi, Hucky. Uh, I get, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't wrap them because they're kind of like for, for everybody in case you want to share, you know, uh, I got some uh, some slime. I thought maybe, you know, Zach's always off-roading. He could share that with his dad. Uh, maybe some windshield wiper. Everybody can use that. That's good stuff right there, that windshield wiper stuff. And then I got a Bronco's uh, 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 ice scraper. That's good. This, this is going to be a collectible right here. You should be snapping that up. How about you, Reed? That's uh, the Champs, uh, AFC Champs. And for you ladies, you can always whip up a, a quick burrito. Those are good. Right there, they're fresh. Those are fresh. I got uh, pop popcorners here. I got two here. Here, one for Allison, one for Nick. Right there. All right, that that. Got a stocking cap for that. Looks like maybe Wendy. Why well, we can get that? Ooh, looky there. Some apricots. This is gonna be. It's gonna be a good Christmas, all of you. So excited. This goes back over to. Uh, I don't know. Got some WD-40. Everybody can use that. And to go with that, we've got. Um, Protect it. Put this on your dash because there's a lot of sunshine out there in Colorado. There's a lot of Colorado people here. Oh, look at Coca-Cola. That's even got the Christmas bears on it. <laughs> it's good stuff. Umbrella. Peace umbrella for spring when, you know, it starts raining. I've got a little bit of everything for everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay, okay. So, I got this one for you, but honestly, you probably have it. And so you can just return it if that if it doesn't work, okay? So let's open it up. Okay, okay. Do you like it? Yeah, it's probably not even your size. I, I know, I know. You probably already have it. I don't think you you don't like it. Okay, that's that's okay, that's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I have the receipt, so you can just go back. You know, here's what we could do. We could go back tomorrow and we could Pick out anything you want, because I have the receipt. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to influence. I don't want to influence it. I don't want to influence it. So, so, um, here's what we're gonna do. Here, just, just take my money. <laughs> just take my money. Two hundred, three, three hundred, three hundred is okay. Okay. So here's my. <laughs> You're always just so hard to shop for. You have everything already. I don't know what to get you. <laughs> I just want to make you happy for Christmas. <laughs> I just want to make you happy.
Put your phone away, phone away, phone away, phone away. I would like to reach out my hand and hold yours, but you won't put your phone away, phone away. I'll hold my own. Pick it up with dirty hands and text your friends and say, we're having a lot of fun. No, we ain't. No, we ain't. We're not having Don't you want to hang with me? Don't you want to play with me? I just want you to understand that I want to spend time with you. I don't get this. Put your phone away. Phone away. Phone away. Phone away. Put your phone away. Phone away. Phone away. Phone away. Welcome to Mesopotamia News. Today, I have come across these four travelers. So I'm gonna interview them and see what's going on. So first, we have these two men. Can you guys start off by introducing yourselves? Hi! <laughs> hey, um, my name is Baba. I'm Casper. We, we identify as wise. Wise men. Some call uh, some people call us kings. Just very wise. Okay. Well, where? What happened to your third wise man? He was following a different star. He went in a different direction than we he went. He went that way. He went that way. Awesome. Okay. And here we have our two wise women. So my name is Sheena, and my name's Sylvia. So, I just want to start off by asking you guys, what are you traveling for? Who are you going to see? Well, we're going to see Martha. You know, we're going to go wherever wherever life Mar takes us. But Martha? Oh, Mary. Mary! <laughs> I heard she was having a baby. I also heard she's a virgin. I'm a little confused. What, what's a virgin? <sighs> we'll explain later. Okay, and who are you ladies going to see? We're gonna go see Mary too. 
we've got a lot to talk to her about. Very magical. Yes, and um, there's just a lot going on with her right now. So we have got to go support her and woman power. We're gonna go just, you know, make sure everything's good, make sure that she has the baby, make sure that she has a husband, all that. Okay, how are you all getting there? Um, we're, we're thinking maybe horses or some camels. Camels maybe. would be great. Camels? I would, I, I'm looking for cam camels. Um, I think we're gonna follow that star oh, right that, there. That star. That star. No, that star. Are you, is it that star? The bright, the brightest star. The brightest star. We're Whatever follow. star is the brightest, we will follow that. Interesting. Okay. And how are you ladies going to get there? Well, um, we know exactly where we're going. We're going that way together. And um, we both have degrees in cartography. We've got precise, total, intuitive direction capabilities. And we know exactly where we're going. We checked beforehand. We're aware now and we're never late so we will definitely be there very punctual and very precise awesome well sounds like you ladies are very prepared and we'll arrive on time and what are you all bringing as gifts for the new mother i have some franken franken frankincense yeah right here it smells really good uh frankincense oh yeah so i have a. Uh, Myrrh. 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 It looks like a Christmas ornament. I think Mary will really like this. Interesting. Quite quite an interesting gift. And what are you ladies bringing for Mary? Well, we have a box here full of diapers. Um, there's some chapstick. Yes, definitely. We've got some lanolin. We've got some stuff for her stretch marks. We have got pampers. We've yes. got diaper cream. We have everything she needs. Everything she needs. Wow, it sounds like Mary's going to be in great hands with you guys. Um, last question, what are you guys all going to be doing once you get there? I think it's going to be a big party. Yeah, I'm looking forward to just hanging out, you know, hanging with Joe. Yeah. Interesting, okay, and what about you women? Okay, well first of all, we have incredible incredible skills. I have a PhD in child birthing and child development and I'm an engineer. <laughs> so we are taking these skills. We are going to walk into that house or that stable or wherever that guy has her and I hear he's a carpenter. Who knows? I hear there's holes. I hear it's leaking. I hear everything. We know so, how to fix it. We know how to. That's what engineers do right so we're gonna clean it we're gonna mow the lawn take care of everything and Mary particularly Mary exactly and then as the finale peace on earth is what we're after Merry Christmas okay well thank you for letting me get to know you four travelers best of luck on your journey Wait, yes can we just we we were three of us, just so we you know that there were three wise women. But our friend went ahead, and she's taking care of everything in, in preparation for our arrival. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you, guys, and best of luck with your new journey. Thanks for the interview. Bye. Next couple. Hi. Hi! Come on in. Good to see you guys again this week. Oh, I was just watching my couples therapy. I just love that show. I'm on season three and it just really helps. So here we are again in couples therapy. And I saw you guys last week, and there still seems, although you have a lot of love between each other, there still seems to be some miscommunication and not validating what each other is saying, okay? So have you guys had any experiences in the last week yeah. that you want to share? Yeah, we did. Okay, so tell me what's going on. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I really can't stay. 
baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Baby, it's cold She's outside. She's giving you some direction. This evening has been. I'm hoping that you drop so in. So very nice. I'll hold your hands. They look like ice. It's kind of My psychological warfare. Beautiful. What's your name? It's Calvin. It's hot. Listen to that fireplace roar. Really, I better skirt. Please don't hurry. But maybe just a half a drink more. Put some records on. That's all distraction, that okay? Neighbors might think sublimination also. Say, what's in this dream? Look at the big cat out there. Oh God! I wish I knew how. Your eyes look like starlight now. I'll take your hat, your hair looks swell. Oh, I ought to say I'm no, gonna jump into no, conclusions no. here. Very direct. At least I gotta say that I tried. What's the sense of burning my pride? I really that might hold up in court. Baby, don't hold out. Baby, it's cold out. It is gaslighting right there, okay? Got that? Hmm. Some paradoxes going on, a lot of cognitive distortions. I simply must go. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, argumentative. The yeah. answer is no. But baby, it's That's cold clearly outside. no consensus. The welcome has been How lucky that you dropped so it. So nice and warm. Look out the window at the store. My head is dropping thinking. Suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. I put a third to place. <laughs> You're just Waves upon a tropical shore. My name is mine. Gosh, your lips are delicious. <laughs> okay. A cigarette more. Never such a blizzard before. I gotta get home. Baby, you'll freeze oh, out there. That's projection. Say, okay. Plenty my coat. It's up to your knees out there. Yeah, it might be an overgeneralization. Really I thrill when I touch but your hand. But you don't see. How can you do this oh, thing to me? Narcissism a little. It's got to be taught tomorrow. Think of my lifelong sorrow. At least it will be plenty. Do you have control fallacies? If you got on. pneumonia and died. I really can't You're stay. Implied, Get over that holdout. Baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. So, I really think we need to have 90 minute sessions twice a week, okay?